Hi, on this video I'm going to be doing my limit switches. Uh, I'm going to be attaching the limit switches for the three axes and uh, then uh, wiring into the control box. And uh, I'm just going to start with uh, adding the, uh, the switches, alright? Okay, well I'm going to put my uh, first micro switch for the uh, Z-axis. I'm going to mount it right about here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount a piece of aluminum right here, maybe uh, half an inch thick or something with some slots in it. Uh, so let me uh, go ahead and uh, drill this and tap this and get this mounted. The micro switch that I'm using was from uh, Granger's. Um, I forget how much it was, or like six bucks or something like that, eight bucks. Um, I could have gotten them from eBay for less or something, but uh, uh, Granger sends them real fast. And uh, I'm using, uh, I think it's a three quarter inch long. Uh, I'm actually using 632 cap head screw stainless steel. I figured you use stainless because there's going to be moisture around here. Uh, so, right. okay, I got the, uh, the Z axis uh, micro switch mounted. Um, I actually took off the little handle that was still on here. Uh, I mean, this could have all been taken out, I think, but uh, as I had left it on, so I took this out so the wires can, you know, there's room for the wires to run. So, uh, I already got that on. Now I just need to uh, put the little bracket on here uh, for this to hit. So, all right. Okay, I'm cutting a. Uh, about a quarter inch piece of uh, aluminum. Uh, this right here is uh, three quarters thick uh, by uh, uh, four inches. Uh, so that's the piece I'm going to use for this flag and maybe some of the of the block uh, to trip the uh, the micro switches. So okay, well while I was waiting for the aluminum to cut. Um, I just went ahead and uh, wired the switch. Um, I just uh, crimped on some uh, insulated type uh, uh, spade connectors and uh, just routed the, the wire along with the uh, with the motor wires there. I figured that's designed to go up and down uh, anyway so I just routed that out the back here. Um, that's just a uh, two conductor speaker wire that actually I have a massive roll of it, like 500 feet, that I bought to uh, convert some neon signs to LED. And I still have a bunch of it left over, so. All right, well, I think my uh, aluminum is finished cutting, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready. Okay, so I got my little piece of aluminum here that I made. Uh, just cleaned it up on the uh, on the, the uh, sander on the belt sander. Um, I'm just gonna I put the head up as hard, high as I you know would want it to go safely. You know I just kept it down like an eighth of an inch or something like that. Um, and I'm basically just gonna slide this down to see where it clicks on. Yeah, clicking there. Um, so you know I want it to be right around there, but I'm going to make two slots in this thing for it to be able to adjust. I'm going to kind of put it in the middle so I can adjust it either way. So I'll get this set up to do some uh, slotting on the mill. I've already got the uh, the vise in there and uh, an eighth inch end mill. Um, I'll have to do a couple passes on the slots because uh, actually I was going to use 632 but um, I end up getting, uh, uh, I'm sorry, 832 but I end up getting 1032 because uh, they didn't have enough of them in stock. I'd like to, if I do this I always like to buy two because you never know when this is going to, the uh, tap is going to snap on you so. All right. Okay, so I made the little aluminum part real quick. Nothing uh, fancy. I just 
milled it real quick. Nothing, uh, it didn't have to be perfect or anything, but uh, I'm just going to position this on here and bring that down till it clicks. And then I'm gonna mark the slots. Now I'm going to drill and tap in the center of those two slots so I have that much play up and down. Alright, I got my, uh, my block or I guess flag you could call it. Uh, basically I, uh, I put the screws in, obviously I drilled and tapped it. Uh, I got the screws in, uh, now I'm basically just going to push down until I hear it click. It's clicking right there. And then I'm gonna tighten them up. Make sure it's uh, level so it looks okay. I got a, I did a quarter inch uh, slot so there's some some play this way uh, but I guess it doesn't have to be perfect but okay I can tighten that down uh, since I did a quarter inch slot I put some uh, uh, number 10 stainless washers on there these are stainless also uh, uh, 10.32, so. Alright, now I can, uh, take, push it down, and then up. Okay, well I got my Y-axis uh, micro switch mounted and the little uh, flag or the uh, block there. Uh, I was trying to make it so that I can still uh, adjust this without having to move this around, but there's just so little room in here. This micro switch is so big uh, that, uh, well it has more to do with the, the space within here. How the way that, how, how I did it, so. Uh, you can see it go on and off here. Alright. Okay, I got my, uh, x-axis, uh, switch mounted. Uh, I just attached it to the bottom of the motor mounting plate for the, uh, for the x-axis. Uh, I ran the wires, connected the wires there. Uh, and, uh, actually, uh, all I did was, uh, put a screw in where this comes into contact. And that hits that screw. And I can adjust this, I can back it out, put some wash into there to adjust it. So that's what I'm using as my adjustment is uh washers if needed actually i don't think i'm gonna need it i'm just i've just got the screw there so all right